1978, the chuck wagon races took over the grandstand. It's a coordinated team effort to flawlessly break camp, race a wagon, horses, and riders to the finish line. Wowza! Hold on, everyone. Holy smokes! Look at him come down the old straightaway. It's Vic Johnson from Spencer, Iowa, in the lead. He's got his outriders. He can have one outrider out in front, hazing the lead horse, but he's fallen way behind. He has to be within 75 feet of the wagon by the time they close, or he's going to be disqualified. The outriders have to close rapidly on that lead wagon. It's Vic Johnson in the lead. Looks like everything's been loaded well, and he is really hauling the chuck. I'll guarantee you the brown wagon, Wayne Slick, is in second place. But the blue wagon is closing rapidly, moving on the outside, Ken Draker. Now, remember, it makes no difference who crosses the finish line first, it's who does so with the fewest amount of penalties. And these judges have been marking these penalties down. But we'll keep track. Right now, it's the white wagon, Vic Johnson, that's in the lead. And the blue wagon closing, Ken Draker has really poured it to him. Look at those horses, pull it down. All right, the winner is Denny Buolan with the purple B wagon, and placing second is Vic Johnson with the white J, followed by the blue K, Ken Draker. And keep in mind, this was all assessed because of the penalties the, the wagon and the outriders made as they completed the course, and what a challenge that was. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have excitement for you at the Iowa State Fair, the Chuck Wagon Finale. This is the race for the championship of the Chuck Wagon races here at the 1978 Iowa State Fair. And with me is B. Weedy. B, we have four of these wagons that have gone through competition and certified themselves as being the most eligible for the championship race. Now, the object is all those stoves are perking away. The stove is the little black object sitting right by the barrel. Don't let those horses get away, guys. You have to stay within 75 feet of the wagon. Everybody made it without hitting the barrel so far, and they're off and running across the plains of Iowa. But some of the people have tents flying out of the back of their wagons. These outriders, and there can only be one out in front, the other three have to follow, have to stay number one within 75 feet of the wagon. They have to stow that tent if they can, otherwise there's a penalty. The first team that crosses the finish line is not necessarily the winner, right, B? That's very true, and it looks like we have a lot of penalties. We've got some. See, the red wagon is way out in front, but two of the outriders are way out in back. They very have to close to within 75 feet of that wagon by the time they cross the finish line, or it's penalty, penalty, penalty time, plus the fact they've got their tent flowing out the back. It just went out of the back of his wagon. Oh, what a heartbreak. That... Vic Johnson in the white wagon closing well. He seems to have his outriders close by he may not only win the race he may have everything stowed and everybody on board it looks like it's going to be Vic Johnson if there's no penalties now if you'll notice the boy on the purple shirt just gave the uh, pole a heave and he got it in the wagon now that may save them enough penalty points so that they can bring home a win over this red wagon that still drags and still has outriders back or quite a few penalties in this being that whole race took less than a minute and a half all right, the winner of our chuck wagon race this afternoon is Vic Johnson, and placing second this afternoon, Goodchild and Lindgren in the green-covered wagon, and placing third, Arnold Vetter with his red-topped wagon.